What's going on guys? Welcome back. Will Blandon. Um I'm not afraid to give you guys the whole business plan. Um it's it's really elaborate, it's detailed, but I really think I'm really this close to pulling off my dream. And it's very simple. Through uh, OTT platforms, you can actually make your own streaming platform. And I didn't go with Vimeo. For those of you who might be thinking, oh yeah, Vimeo, because I did watch some YouTube videos on how they hijack people's content later on, where it's so expensive that, uh, that they they can't even afford to pay those fees to even get their content back. So there's a lot of affordable companies that you could build your own streaming platform. Um, at some point, I'll put a link below this video for the company I'm using because you know how I do. I want that affiliate commission. As well as the process is going to give me a lot of affiliate offers. So if you walk me through this journey, it's gonna give me a lot of opportunity to make some money as I'm giving you guys the content. Um, the media company is only the beginning. What you do is you get your streaming platform up and running. And I, I believe, this is only my belief, that I can get a minimum of a thousand people to pay me just nine ninety seven, nine dollars and ninety seven cents a month, because I'm going to push them to promote themselves on my platform. And here's how I'm going to do that. I believe it's genius, but you guys might just think I'm some just some rambling idiot. What you do is you go out and you go build a team. You got to build a team. You cannot do this alone. I wish you could. But along the journey of building a team, you're going to make money and you're going to give them an opportunity to make money as well. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to explain how. You tell them what you're going to tell them as far as how you're going to pay them. You can do a per hour structure, but I prefer to do commissions because it drives people to work harder. But here's my whole package deal. I'm gonna tell them, look, you come in, I'm gonna pay you for everything you promote under me. Everything you promote under me, you will get paid unless you go through my program. I'm gonna show you how to build out your own company you got to bring in your own commissions, and I'm going to provide you a platform to do it on, meaning my own streaming platform. If, if the smart people, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. It might take a minute, but you have the tool now to get them to promote their own companies on your platform, and you're making more content from the platform because you're going to film the process. You're gonna film the process from them coming out with the business name, from them opening up the bank account, business address, and what are all these companies? Opportunities for affiliate marketing offers because they're gonna need these services anyway. So they're gonna sign up for these services under your affiliate offers, which makes your company money. They're gonna reteach the same process which is gonna make them money. And then you're gonna get them to sign up for your offers, like my software business. They can promote that. They gotta get MWR Financial because that's gonna walk them through getting their finances together. And boom, immediately they get their, fi their finances together and they got a minimum 680, probably even lower, but I wanna say 680 credit score we walk them through the process of building the business credit for their newly formed entity. Yeah, they're gonna spend a little bit of money up front, but if you're paying them along the way, 
every time they market something for you, commission, they're at least making some of their money back as they're building their business. And in a minute, if they come in with a 680 credit score, you can immediately go in and get the business credit. And now they can not only pay for your package on the back end, but now they have the funds to get their business started and start generating cash flow. And the reason why you want to build a team, because you're going to do this for about, my magic number is four people, which makes us five as a team. Now you got salespeople. You know what I mean? All the time. Because they're going to promote their comp own companies hard. You know what I mean? Which is going to give me some affiliate commissions all the time. Which, after a while, I no longer need them to pay them commissions because they're making commissions off their own companies. And my strategy is I go in and I set up their companies with my company, with one of my companies as 10% owner. Why only 10%? Because they don't have to show my name on documents. They control 90% of the business. You control the bank account. You'll control 90% of your business. But I do that because in the event that they sell their company, I get a little commission. And I'm gonna help set up the company so they can sell it later if they choose. Some of them, because they don't, they don't have to keep their company because they could do it all over again or they could continue working for me. This strategy I thought was amazing. You know, and I'm going through the process right now. I'm about to structure the company. Um, I'm gonna and and along along with that, I'm gonna have video content showing you guys how I'm building out my own, as well as all the business products I'm gonna go after under this company. So I'm gonna have content for days. I will have no issues with making content. I don't know how do people get these uh, these mental blocks where they, they can't come up with ideas for content. And yes, for some of you, it's going to be boring. I get that. But now I have a platform now where you're not just seeing my face. You're seeing all these new people. So I can slowly step back and be more in the background and still have these new people coming in and building content. So if I wanna go off on a vacation, my platform is always gonna have content, old and new. We're gonna start promoting the YouTube channels with some lives, you know, and I'm, I believe once my YouTube channels get up to a certain number, that's only gonna uh, triple the growth of my own platform because at some point, my own platform is gonna be the only thing I promote. And I'm gonna have in a contract that they can only use my streaming platform. They could use YouTube and my streaming platform, all social media's platforms to promote their company, but they allow me to also put that content on my platform. So they can own it over there and have all their copyright stuff over there on um, on uh, YouTube. That's fine, but they I have rights to put their content on my streaming platform as well. So this is going to give me the ability to keep my platform growing to the point where hopefully long after I'm dead, the OTT company will continue to grow this money and funnel this money to my living trust towards the end and the goal honestly is only to go after like I said uh, a thousand people you know I'm bringing in close to 10 grand a month but we can easily over time triple that double that and in the event that anybody on my team sells their company I get 10% now it goes deeper now now, hopefully you, you build a trust and loyalty amongst these people. This is why it's gonna take time to find the right people. You start a corporation to take public. And these people 
hopefully you pick them well, are going to help you become the controlling body of this newly formed corporation that you take public. And you want people in the right positions. You want somebody to be, you know, obviously I want to be uh, CEO, but you also maybe want somebody to be COO to do the day-to-day. You might want somebody to be chief technology officer or chief financial officer with a head of the banking and applying for things. So you want to build the right team, and it could take years, quite honestly. But along the journey, I can find one, put them in position, get their business started, and also they'll be promoting my business as well. Go after the next person. So it's going to take time, but when you finally build that team, now anything you want to do, you can include these people. Now, if you want to build a nonprofit, you have the right people. And they're going to follow you along this journey because you brought them this far. You know? And there's ways you can set up your corporation so that they can't vote you out and do these other things that some owners might be afraid of. But you got to set it up the right way from jump. You know? And have things in place that your shares go to your trust. So things could be done the right way, but it's going to cost money down the line. But starting that initial platform is not as expensive as you guys think. I'm talking with the uh, app and everything. I'm talking like with Apple, iOS, and Android apps um, where they're completely run by the OTT service. All you got to do is put content on your platform and... You're probably looking at the most, probably $500 a month on average. It's a rough guess, but on average with this company, you know, but you don't start out there. You just start out at the lower package, which I believe is like 80 bucks a month, and that'll get you me started, you know. But you really, it's not as expensive as you may think. That's not expensive because once you get corporate credit and... You got, you know, say 10000 even just 5000 a month coming in from your platform, that 500 a month won't seem like nothing. It really won't. It'll seem like a, you know, rent payment maybe. You know, so this is what we're doing. Going into this new year, I basically showed you my whole plan. There's going to be other things I'm doing in the background too, like I am eliminating Uber and Lyft and going private. I'm going to talk about that in other videos. Um, but <coughs> excuse me. But um, that's the plan going into this year. And um, keep my cost down as much as I can. And we are going to be looking for some property this year through by way of NWR Financial. Another reason why you might want to get in. They have this new real estate program that even if they can't, even if you don't qualify, listen to what I'm saying, even if you don't qualify for a property, they will get you in the property. Either rent it or lease it or however they do it on the back end, they will get you in that property until you do qualify. So you'll be living in your dream place. Obviously, they're going to make sure you can afford it. But they're saying if you're if you're paying a high rent, you can afford it. And along the way, they're showing you how to get your, your finances together, how to make more money, as well as, you know, generate some vehicles for investing. Um, private reserve account. They got a lot going on over there at NWR this year, guys. You might want to check it out. Even if you used to deal with them back in the day, there's going to be some changes in February. I say get in now because it's going to be slightly more stuff in it, in the package, but it, the price might go up a little bit. So I say get in now before I think February 5th, they said is the deadline. So you might want to get in this month right away because some big things are coming. If you see this after February, you're already too late. No, you're not too late. You can still get in. It's still going to be well worth it. Subscribe, like, comment, 
and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.